All right, so I've never done one of these kind of vlog style videos before, but I thought I'd give it a shot today. Um, we're going over to Home Depot to get some materials and some hardware. And I'm gonna be building a DIY version of kind of, of the Keen Ramps uh, Slappy Spine. I think it's called the Slapstick, it just came out. Um, looks really fun. I don't wanna spend $200 in, in shipping, so we're gonna make it ourselves. All right, so got all of the materials I have, except for the bolts that I need to attach scoping. So I got one more stop to make. We're gonna get those. I wanna go build this thing, let's go. So for some reason the last chunk wasn't filming. Um, I used a belt jigsaw and belt sander to get this template piece for the coping cutout, uh, and just use that to mark it on my side pieces. And I did the same thing with this transition template. So I've got everything marked now. I'm gonna cut it out with the jigsaw, staying away from the line and then sand to the line to get the transition shape I want. So let's do that. So I may have bitten off more than I can chew with the buy the materials, build it, skate it in one day plan. Uh, so I am going to pick it up tomorrow or, or later, later in the week. I got the first transition attached, didn't get the other one though, so I'll film that and then hopefully get a session in on this before the end of the week. See you then. All right, it is the next weekend. We are back in the wood shop and we're gonna try and get this slappy spine finished up today. It snowed yesterday a little bit, so I don't know if we're actually gonna get to skate this thing today, but at least we'll get it finished up and we'll skate it when we skate it. Let's get into it. see that but there is a the plywood bows out pretty hard where it contacts the transition and I don't know, maybe I should have put another transition piece another template in the middle but I don't know how to salvage this yeah it's like not even touching here all right so I think I figured out a possible solution I'm gonna zip off this corner here 
that should get, shouldn't really do much structurally, and it should get the plywood to sit a little more flush here because it's like, that's what's stopping it. So let's see how this goes. Remember kids, if it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. Let's use our brain. We need it to contact the bottom without twisting. So I think if I use a straight edge on the bottom of the thing, and I cut it right there, that should eliminate that twist. All right, so I have marked on the side here where I need to cut using my combination square to extend that line across the whole thing and then I just cut it. All right, so that is the DIY slappy spine. It's like 35 degrees outside, so I'm not gonna do a real session. Um, but it was super fun to build, a couple hiccups, but it's this thing is great. Um, I'd love to do more of this kind of like woodworking, DIY, skate stuff. Um, so if you'd like to see more of that, let me know. And I'll uh, see you next time.